guys, today I want to do a first impressions review on the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. The full size product of this actually sells for $18 retail and there are a ton of claims here. This is what the little sample size looks like. The tube is actually the same kind of silver color in the full size. Some of the claims here, there is a Pro Twist 180 degree wand. It says it volumizes, lengthens, thickens, separates, lifts. It's all day wear, mineral fortified, smudge free, clump free, and flake free. So this should be like the ultimate mascara, right? <laughs> and then also the ingredients rate low toxin by the environmental working group, which is awesome. So I've got no mascara or eyeliner on right now. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys close and we'll get started. All right, so here is a close up on this actual brush. Now they did say in the little tutorial to make sure that you don't have any excess at the end here. Like make sure you wipe all of that off. So I'm just going to start, and in the little tutorial she is kind of like winking and then rotating the brush, starting at the base and pulling. It does seem like it combs through my lashes really well, doing the rotating thing. This is not how I would typically um, apply my mascara, um, doing the winking and twisting, but I do think it's important when you're trying out a new mascara to really see what the company and what the brands, like how they say to use it, because they obviously formulate it a certain way and they know, they've tried it a lot of times to see how it works best, so that's what I'm going with here. And then they just said to comb through the lashes at the end. Okay, so here is the lashes that are not done versus the ones that are. So I think it's doing pretty good. It's doing a really nice job of lengthening, thickening. I do want to do a second coat, but let's go ahead and just re-dip this and go with the bottom lashes. Now she on the little tutorial is going like this with the bottom lashes and really getting them coated. and then combing them through. Okay, so that's where we're at with one coat. I think it's doing pretty well, to be honest. I'm a little bit messy um, with this, but I'm using my viewfinder as my mirror, which makes it kind of difficult. I'm just going to go ahead and add some more volume to the top, doing the exact same technique. It's definitely doing a really good job of not clumping. Like, I've added quite a bit of mascara on, and there's no clumps that I can see, like, whatsoever. And it is more of a wet formula, so I think you have a lot longer to work with this. Seems really buildable. Do just a little bit more on my bottom lashes here. All right, guys, I'm going to clean this up with a Q-tip and be right back. All right, and there we go. There is the before eye. And here is our after with two coats. I'm really, really liking this. I also wanted to pan back so you guys could compare before and after. I actually am really, really liking this. I think that the technique they have with kind of spinning the brush out really, really helped. Um, I do like it. It's one of those mascaras that if you like quite a bit of volume, I bet I can even add more of this. Um, if you like quite a bit of volume, your lash, you like your lashes to stand out without having to wear falsies, I think this is a really good option for you, especially if you don't like clumping. Like if you are really particular about having non-spidery lashes, like I am, um, I think this one's great. I would probably, I don't know, it might, it's getting a little bit thick right now and I'm on my third coat, but um, yeah, I'd probably say stick to two coats. That's perfect, but look how much, I mean, I'm getting a lot of dark black volume on there. It's crazy. And then if you have a little like eyelash brush, definer, whatever you call this, you could kind of comb through just to make sure everything's really separated if you went the extra mile and did the third coat. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with this actually. I like that it's low toxin. It makes a big difference. There's a lot of definition there and it's really dark. So I'm going to give this my thumbs up, guys. I'm liking it so far. Um, it is a quite, quite a wet formula, so if you don't like that, um, maybe let it dry out for a couple weeks. I don't know how it will last, but that's going to be it for my first impressions review. I like it. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see first impressions on. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!